Hello, and welcome back to Story Chief Academy. In this episode, we are going to talk about the calendar and also create our first editorial brief. So first, let's navigate to the main calendar here to have an overview of your content. Obviously, as you can see, this account is very empty because it's a new account. As you can see here, there aren't any published stories or scheduled content in here, although you can see some drafts here. These are templates that you can use yourself. However, now I'm going to show you how a pre-filled calendar looks like, just to give you a better idea of what a calendar can look like. So this is a calendar I have a bunch of content in here. So as you can see, there are a bunch of things happening in this calendar. However, these filters at the top can really help you get a better overview of what is happening. So if I click on type as any, we can select story, social post, event or campaign. Or maybe do you want to see what is published, scheduled or in draft? Or do you want to see the approval status? pending, approved or declined, or maybe you just want to see only published posts on Facebook. So go ahead and select that. Or maybe you want to see who it was created by, so one of our colleagues. So let's go ahead and select Rick here. So as you can see, there are so many different filters that you can choose from, and you can create your own segments and calendars. Each time you create such a filter, you can save it as a calendar view. By saving it, it allows people to choose it immediately from the left column. So now I've shown you what a calendar can look like. So let's never get back to the calendar we were working on together previously. So this is pretty empty, but now I want to create some briefings to start a few articles. So for example, I want to say by the 30th of August, I would like to create a new story. So let's go ahead and do that. So you also want to fill in the due date. So let's say the night of the 30th of August, it should be completed. And then you can select the contributor. So I'm going to select Gucci because I want him to collaborate on this story. I'm also going to put this in our thought leadership campaign that we already created. And I would like to focus on a keyword about this topic. So from this title, I'm going to select pop-ups, for example. So next, what I want to do is add an editorial brief. So let's go ahead and click on add here. Uh, okay, great. Um, and then I'm going to put in some text in here. So, hey, would you like to create a story about converting more leads through the blog post by activating pop-ups and exit intents? So, um, so as you can see, uh, I have a few spelling mistakes here uh, and I'm going to go ahead and correct that. So the goal of the editorial brief is briefing these people and giving them very clear instructions about what you want them to write about. So I'm going to put in a word count in here, 2,500, and you can attach multiple files to the brief. But also to make it easier, you can even add a video or an image. You can add a link that you've created from Noom, for example, or something else where you actually help the writer understand the topic. Um, so let's go ahead here and add, for example, embedded image, media. So now I'm going to save it. So what happens next by clicking on save, my colleague Gauthier has just received an email that he's been invited to collaborate on this story. In a bit, we will dive into the story ourselves to see what it looks like. Although before we do that, I'll go ahead and create some more briefs that are related to the same topic and assign them to writers. 